Okay, so uh, what I want to talk about today is this operational systems map uh, that I've drawn here. And uh, I think this is useful to see that it describes uh, all of the different things that happen on a site and, uh, and how they kind of fit together from a technology perspective. So um, we've got basically we've got down, down the page, we've got production, uh, maintenance, people, projects, safety, and reporting, uh, and that can be, you know, those things can be done annually, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, shiftly, and in real time. Uh, so, if we're just thinking production space, we tend to have uh, in the annual, quarterly, monthly, down to about weekly level, we tend to have quite large operational uh, production planning tools, which may or may not connect in with uh, your yeah, enterprise resource planning tools like an ERP, SAP, that kind of thing. Uh, but these things seldom go lower than the weekly level in granularity and they're used mainly for budgeting and long-term planning of an operation. Um, uh, it's often the case uh, with ERPs that uh, in, in the maintenance space that these things are made into short-term shiftly plans with a maintenance scheduling tool, so often the maintenance module in the ERP or the asset management module in the ERP gets turned into day-by-day, uh, shift-by-shift tasks in an operational maintenance scheduling tool, and that's really powerful because uh, it makes operationalizes those, those jobs. Uh, when you come to people, uh, you tend to find that ERPs contain all of the employees but not all of the contractors. So the contractors, although they work on the site, uh, seldom inside the ERP and so they're not really included in the plan uh, except for a, from a cost line basis. Uh, and you almost always find that rosters, leave, training, etc. are done in spreadsheets outside of the tool. Um, coming further over you get to projects, so you've got things like Primavera, MS Project, those kind of things. Seldom do they get lower than the week or the day. Uh, in terms of their granularity, so they're not useful for driving the day-by-day -day work. Uh, and in safety, you often have hazard identification rectif rectification tools and some safety behaviours, things like step-back tape fives, etc., uh, that live inside a system of some sort. It's usually a separate system again. And then you've got reporting over here on the right. Right down here at this really granular uh, real-time level, we have SCADA systems and fleet management systems which tell us exactly what's happening right now and often used to connect into reporting tools to tell us what the production results are of a day, of a shift, of a week. So, what we've got really, in, from, if we're talking production-wise, we've got quite a big gap here between the weekly plan and the, the plan that's going to happen on a shift. And that tends to be filled by management operating systems, spreadsheets and whiteboards. So those spreadsheets... and whiteboards like I'm writing on that uh, people like me used to have to build uh, for uh, companies. Spreadsheets and whiteboards. And sometimes there's an interaction between those spreadsheets and whiteboards and if there is a maintenance scheduling tool and those tasks aren't necessarily in there. Uh, these spreadsheets, these rosters, well to get those in this leave and this training, to get those to connect to those plans is a, is a bit of a mission with um, uh, macros and pivot tables and all those kind of things. Uh, very seldom do you find in that plan that there's anything from the project planning world and uh, safety can, tends to be out here on its own. So the problem is that you've got this massive gap between weekly, high quality weekly tools and high quality real time tools that is filled at best with a concoction of spreadsheets, whiteboards and individual point solution tools that don't ever get you to a point where you can say nothing happens if it's not in this system. So you never have a single page view of your operation. So what Fusion does is it can replace all of these tools at the front line. So it connects in to all of these tools so that you have one single 
source of truth for all of the work that's going to happen on a site in real time, on the shift, on the day, and on the week. Taking data from your, your production plan, your ERPs, has contractors and, real pe and employed people, uh, has all your project information, any safety tasks that need to be done. All of that work is in one plan for the supervisor and for the management team so they can see what work is going to be done today and manage it effectively day in, day out.